The following program contains material taken directly from biblical accounts of the life of Jesus of Nazareth. But most of it we just made up. Viewer sense of humor is advised. Star Wars. 
can do tricks and choreography. Five, six, seven, eight. where the most admired names are the advisors who retired at the top of their games. Those number one men now immortalized in... The Magi League Hall of Fame. Melchior the Marvelous. Daniel the Lion Tamer. <laughs> Balaam the Donkey Whisperer. Uh, long story. Look it up. But the most valuable soothsayer of all the sages, a prophesier and advisor for all the ages, the most amazing number one mage of his time. You should have seen him in his prime. Oh, wait, you can. The wisest wise men are the bad bars and are the bad bars and Artaban. Um, Number one, I can't figure out the king's nightmare, and I don't want to risk losing my position as number two on a guess. The dream is a warning. The king should mind his temper with those in his family, or mind what is placed before him to drink. Poison! I knew it all along, scribe. Write this down. Let his highness be forewarned that someone will try to poison him. Sincerely, his number two mage, the advisor responsible for this discovery. Oh, wow. You're so fast. What was that last part again? Ugh, greatness waits for no one, scribe. Keep up. A wise man might take greater care, number two, for David is far more powerful than you perceive. With all due respect, that is preposterous. He's not even a mage. He's a glorified secretary. Yet, is it the wise man's words remembered in history or the scribe's record of them? Thank you for your service, David. Wow, you are so wise. <laughs> if that be true, I must credit my excellent teachers. Well, who on earth is wise enough to teach you, sir? The most valuable lessons I've learned have arrived through careful observation of my three daughters. His three daughters, Dorina. Someone wants to take over his throne with poison. <gasps> oh, no! Wait, expose their plan, Siri. Wow, Strina, you're so smart. You're going to be a famous wise man someday, just like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's preposterous. She's just a girl. Only a man can be a wise man. And only a bully deserves to be put in his place. You want to see my evidence? Why are you fighting? Because he hurts your feelings, and no one messes with my little sisters. Uh, actually, I turn out distractions from my studies. My feelings aren't hurt. And why are my feelings hurting? What is all the noise in here? Dad, tell them what you told me. Only a man can be a wise man, uh, right? Uh, why would I say such a thing? But, but Dad, you said... That is enough, son. Psst, David! You 
weren't involved in this, were you? No, Dad. I did just like you taught me. Stay out of it and write it down. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Dad, why did you lie? Because Artaban is number one, and he has the real power. But you're number two. Number two is great. Number two stinks. <sighs> Listen, son. Sometimes you must bite your tongue and bide your time. Where there is an ill will, there is a way. An opportunity is there for those who are willing to seize it. I'm sorry, Papa. I know I need to work my temper, but he was picking on Siri again. Dorina, my determined one, you have your mother's fight in you, and that strength will serve you well as a leader, though even she had to learn to wield it wisely. Serena, my cerebral one, you have a mind that rivals any mage of record. You are right to tune out distractions and tune into your studies. Just don't forget to occasionally tune into your heart. And speaking of hearts, Essie, <laughs> my empathetic one, you have a heart of purest gold. Every tear you shed for others is a priceless gift. Each of you has a gift to give this world. This is your lesson for today. Repeat after me. The strength, the strength, the mind, the mind, the heart, the heart combined, combined. Once entwined, a band of three strands is not so easily broken. Go on. Once entwined, a band of three. Very good. Never forget, the three of you, united, are stronger than any wise man. If you stay the course, you will one day lead the Magi and all of Persia to the true light. Departed number one wise man, Artaban Farzad. Artaban Farzad. <clears throat> to my three daughters, as each of you has been a precious gift to me, I now leave a precious gift to you each. To Darina, a diamond. Though it shines, it's the strongest of gems. Ooh! <clears throat> to Serena, a lockbox of silver, protecting incalculable valuables therein. A puzzle box, that's perfect for you. <laughs> to Essie, a jar of fine fragrance which sweetens the world from what flows from within. Ah, Get to the good part, scribe. Who did he name as the next number one? Yes, number two, sir. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, to my fellow Susans and Sages, these daughters of mine are the treasures that I bestow upon you now. These three united together shall be <gasps> your new number one. Huh? What? Whoa. That's amazing. What? That's preposterous. How can you have three persons functioning as one? Like some kind of trinity? We're just making things up now. Well, Magi code 8675309 states he has the right to name his successor. But he did not name them. But wait, there's more. I, Artaban Farzan, do hereby name my successors as Darina the Determined, Darina the Determined, Serena the Cerebral, Serena the Cerebral, Essie the Empathetic, Essie the Empathetic. What, I, what does that even mean? That's not a leadership quality. Oh, 
That means emotional. S-E-D emotional. No. Go for dance. Go for dance. No one is going anywhere. Let me see that. Uh oh. This has not been notarized. It had to be notarized. Hmm. Is anyone a notary? Well, I happen to be a notary. <laughs> I'll just uh, make it official. Good. <gasps> Oops. Guess I grabbed the wrong pen. <laughs> oh no. Does this mean we no longer have his pronouncement in writing and it is therefore not binding? How could you? How dare you? And you mean we have no choice but to enact Magi Code 911, which clearly states in the event a number one passes on without an official document naming his successor, the next ranking mage, in this case, myself. Becomes the new number one? What? He is technically correct. It's all right. I will figure out a way to fix this whole mess. Mr. Number two, sir. Mm, it's number one. Sir, surely you will not so callously disregard the wishes of your beloved predecessor, the very man who took you under his wing when your own father passed away. Will you now abandon us to fend for ourselves? Hmm. Yep. But don't fret, little emotional one. I'm sure we can find a suitable spot for each of you. Make us official members of the Magi League. You know we've trained for this. We will earn our place. But why bother earning your place when it's so much easier just to know your place? Oh. Boop. I tried to warn you, Farzans. Only a man can be a wise man. Well, got to go check out my new digs over at the number one residence. I heard it is swanky. You have until the end of the week to come get your stuff. Number one, out. Oh, I don't have to do that anymore. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's all right. It'll be all right. The strength of mind, the heart combined, once entwined, a band of three strands is not. Remember what Papa said. If we stick together, nothing can break us. The journey of life is twisting and turning. What a out at the debate ball game. <clears throat> Good evening, folks. Welcome to another edition of Persia's favorite pastime, Debate Ball, where the biggest stars of the Magi League battle it out in heated debate over the meanings of signs and wonders, wonders, wonders. Speaking of big stars up for debate, tonight is the latest natural phenomenon, a bright new celestial anomaly. What could it possibly mean? We hope to find out tonight in the contentious Crosstown Showdown between the West Sousa Wise Men and the East Sousa Kings. <gasps> Hi, 
Serena? Hello, Naveed. It's so good to see you out and about again. I'm so glad your time of mourning is over. Uh, say, Serena, uh, do you have a fun fact that I might announce at tonight's game? A fun fact? Mm -hmm. Sure. Great! Tonight's contest marks the 427th meeting of these rivals. Oh. Yet, only the second time in history they've competed under a 5 8 waxing gibbous moon when the combined number of letters in the competitors' names is equal to the square root of the largest Fibonacci number to also be a square, so... <laughs> That's fun. Wow. I have no idea what that meant. You're so smart. Yes, so smart, sis, but... Sometimes I worry for you. People want to be moved, you know, and you get them in motion with emotion. You got to speak to their hearts, Siri, from your heart. That hypothesis is unsupported, Essie. My heart is physically incapable of speaking. And I'd like to state for the record that my preference is to not speak at all. What? You're amazing. He's right. You've got to own your voice. Nobody puts Siri in the corner. Again, my preference is to be in the corner. And that's why you have your sisters to help you through that. Listen, we just need to remember who we are. We were trained by the greatest West Zeusa wise men of all time, Artaban Farzan. And we've got to remember what he told us, that the three of us united will one day lead these magi to the true light. Go Farzans! See, Dari speaks from the heart. Just do that and you'll start having all kinds of friends. I already have plenty of friends. Books aren't friends, Siri. Well, they are to me. They share with me all sorts of secrets. In fact, I've deciphered what this new star means. You have? Well, what does it mean? Well... Farzans! I see you finally come out of hibernation. It's called a period of mourning, number two. And I am called number one now. <laughs> Perhaps your grief has affected your memory. Sorry, force of habit. I'm sure. Now what were you saying about the meaning of the star? That we would never dare to break the rules by pronouncing an interpretation while not on the debate ball field. Oh. Are you saying the Farzan family is no longer loyal to the West Sousa wise men? <gasps> Boo! Right? Boo! No, I am saying we're team players, and you did assure us you'd give us positions. I did not say on the team. Well, what did you have in mind? Well, let's see, you're good at managing, correct? Yes, you're making me team manager? <laughs> no. Team Equipment Manager. And you can start by letting out these debate ball shoes for me. They're a little tight. Those belong to our father. Very observant of you, yes. I love the material, nicely worn in. It just turns out they weren't big shoes to fill after all. <laughs> what? Dari. What about my sisters? What about Serena? She knows every book in the archives, cover to cover. Yeah, she's so smart. Excellent. You will make the perfect stats keeper. And be sure to pad my stats. <laughs> I'm serious. No way! You get to work up here next to me! Come on! What about me? Ah, uh, yes. Baby Farzan. What was your skill, SC the, don't tell me, afterthought? Empathetic. Pathetic? No, empathetic. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. Clearly, she's great at connecting with people and what they're feeling. And she's persuasive, a voice people listen to. Long beards, nice long beards here. Perfect! No! Yes. You know, might I recommend you wear the blonde beard? It'll really bring out your eyes. You might want to wipe those tears, though. There's no crying in debate ball! <sighs> well, I think we're off to a great start, Farzans, don't you? Oh, just in case this wasn't clear, I'm giving you this shot out of the goodness of my heart. But it's your only shot. You try anything funny, 
You're out of here. Number one, outs. Oh, the team's about ready to take the field. Come on, Serena, I saved you a seat. It's the heart, the skill, the brain, the will, the way that we train, and we're still at the back of the line. Uh, hey, yo, can I get an East Susa King's crown? What good is the sweat, the tears, the hours, years? There's nothing but time to kill when you're running the pie. Can I have one of those? Face the facts, we're never gonna be a number one. But you can always be a number one fan, cause only a man. The Kings will start the field today. First up for the wise men, number two. <laughs> it's number one. Oops, sorry. Force of habit. And here comes the first pitch. The meaning of the celestial wonder is an omen of doom. Your mom's an omen of doom. Oh! <laughs> Deflecting foul thoughts. Ah. It's a fact. It takes a nation spin to get the win. So we are lucky we are stuck in the sand. Cause only a man can. Oh, and a wild pitch. Nice catch, Serena. Siri, the pitch came to you. This is a sign. You know what the star means. Tell them. All right. Well, there is an obscure prophecy from Balaam the seer, also known as Balaam the donkey whisperer, also known as the forefather of the Magi, as you know. Well, he predicted the eventual rise of a star from Jacob, who was also known as Israel, as you may or may not know. Well, the star in the prophecy clearly represents the arrival of the greatest king the world has ever seen. Then, when you cross-reference that with the prophecy of Daniel, the lion tamer, who was also known as Belteshazzar, which establishes a period of 70 groups of seven, which is 490, as you know, and then considering it has been approximately 490 years since that prophecy was given by Daniel, AKA Belteshazzar. Clearly this means the arrival of the star, Herod's the arrival of the star from Jacob slash Israel, which Balaam the seer, the donkey whisperer, the forefather of the Magi predicted so very long ago. So, that's fun. I'm done. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. Now throw the ball back. If you can throw it that far. <laughs> Essie. I know. My fellow Susans and Sages, the star there in the west, see it shine in the darkness of night, foretelling a brighter tomorrow for those who have chosen to follow. Child in the land of Judea has entered our world. 
What a compelling interpretation. Ha! More like what a complete load of preposterous nonsense. In fact, I heard the Farzan sisters conspiring before the game to usurp my rightful position as number one. Yeah! And I heard them say that they hated the West Seuss wise men. <laughs> and they think debate ball is boring. <laughs> cancel the Farzans. Cancel, 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 cancel. <laughs> I tried to warn you girls that I wouldn't stand for anything funny from you. But no, you chose to abuse my goodwill. Therefore, as number one, I have no choice but to invoke my authority to hereby banish you. You and you and you. You're out of here! Yeah. A newborn king above all kings in Judea. I can't make sense of it. As do I. As do I. I feel I must go at once to find him and worship him. As must I. As must I. I'll bring the gold. I'll bring the frankincense. And I'll bring the Bitcoin. Uh, I don't foresee that Bitcoin thing panning out. Uh, Do you got anything else? Ah, uh, I think I have some... Myrrh? That'll have to do. Sorry, what are we gonna do? We have no jobs, no place to live. I don't know, uh, I will fix it. I just need to think. Naveed, they kicked you out too? Nope. But where we go one, we go all. Go for ants. <laughs> and me. Dari, what are we gonna do? What are you gonna do, Dari? Look at them. They're all looking at you. What are you gonna do? <gasps> I know how to make jewelry out of grass. I could teach you guys and then we'll sell it by the roadside. It's all right. I've got it. Okay. You've got nothing, Dari. No home, no future, no father or mother. You're the big sister, the leader. Oh, brother, what are you gonna do? In hindsight, the out of order interpretation held a low probability of success. Perhaps I should have kept it to myself. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I could move the heart of such a heartless person. Listen, ladies, none of this is your fault. It's not on you. It's all on you, Dari. What are you gonna do? Papa, I wish you could help me now. I have your love for them. And I will fight to see them through But how can I follow in your footsteps now If only a man can be a wise man How can I ever be a wise man like you? How can I be a wise man? Be a wise man I've got it. An idea? Even better, a plan. Hey Siri. Yes? How far is it to the capital of Judea? Jerusalem is approximately 345 leagues. Number two can banish us from the Magi League, but he can't stop us from being a king's counselor. So I say, let's go find this new baby king, prove we're worthy to be taken into his court of advisors and we'll be set but we can't show up empty-handed. We'll, we'll need precious gifts. 
Like the ones from Papa. Exactly. Good thinking, Siri. Dari, Magi are men everywhere. It is highly unlikely that this king is going to accept us. I've got a plan for that, too. Face the facts. We're never gonna make it as sisters. But as misters, we might have a chance. Cause only a man. We need, we need our reputation to precede us to the palace. So we've got to make our big entrance here first. Where's Naveed? I'm here. Sorry. Had a little trouble finding a place to park the camels. Uh, turns out I'm not very good at parallel parking. <laughs> okay. We've got to make our big entrance here first. So uh, we've, got to, we've got to impress the audience here. This is inarguably not my gifting. May I please find a corner to read my scroll? I just got to the good part. I'm sorry, but we do everything together like, like Papa taught us. And if we want an audience with the king, we've got to impress this audience. Uh, give them a show they won't stop talking about. Let it spread all the way to the palace. Like a virus. You're saying you want us to go viral. <laughs> What's a virus? Hypothetically, it's a self-replicating agent involved in the spread of certain contagious diseases. I don't want to be that. Wow, you're so smart. Let's go viral! Naveed! Wait, you mean like leprosy? I believe leprosy is caused by another hypothetical contagious agent I am currently calling bacteria. So in that case, I suppose we'd be going bacterial. Yes, let's go bacterial. Let's spread some leprosy! Naveed! <gasps> unclean! Unclean! No, we're not unclean. We're really very clean. I'm not. However, neither agent is a suitable analogy for increased visibility, as both are invisible to the naked eye. <laughs> you said naked eye. Can you imagine a little eye with little clothes on it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we refocus here? Everybody, just stick to what we rehearsed. Go big or go home. And we can't go home. Right. Uh, places, everyone. Naveed, bring us in. Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Your attention, please. Life 
Life is a gamble or all of the dice. What you need is good advice. You need three wise guys from afar. And here they are. Shalom, good friends. How do you do? We come to town to give your king a clue. He needs three wise guys from afar. And here we are. I'm not so above your average folks. We're cracking codes. of cracking jokes. Hey, Essie. Yes, Dory? What are 10 things in life you can always count on? Your finger! <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of counting, hey, Dory. Yes, Essie? What do you call a hen who counts her chicks before they hatch? I don't know. What do you call her? A mathema chicken! Mathema <laughs> 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 chicken! Speaking yeah. of math, hey, Siri. Oh, no. Why did the mathematician have 12 kids? Well, based on the information you've provided, I would have to deduce it because she was so great at multiplying. <laughs> ha! Multiplying! <laughs> it's funny! Ha! You get it! One, keep it up! Yes! I am the one who can get things done. That price, take a bit off it, and you'll double your profit. I make facts and figures fun. Did you know the deadliest foe is the tiny mosquito? I can turn a phrase or sing you a song. And I'm the one that gets to tag along. Come along with me. Sorry, your plan appears to be working. I think they like us. Of course they like you. You guys are amazing. Our traveling troop is a little bizarre, but we've been hot to try on the trail of a star. We're three wise guys. And me. Here we are. We're really wise. We're really wise. And we're really guys. We're really guys. We're just three wise guys. And me. Here to hop up with the Jewish king. Yes, three wise guys. interpretation and come up with the same plan we did. Ugh. Did they go to the palace? Yeah. They arrived yesterday, spoke with Herod, and left last night. Oh, wow. Just missed them. Turns out that extra day at the Dead Sea harvesting body scrub made a difference after all. Well, if they already left, they must not have found the new king here. Um, they headed south out of the city toward the suburbs. Uh, Bethlehem, I think. I was wondering about that. The prophet Micah did say the Jewish king of kings would be born in Bethlehem. Well, why didn't you say anything? Well, you just seemed so sure we'd find the king here in Jerusalem. We've got no time to lose. Uh, Naveed! Huh? Grab the camels. Well, that's gonna be difficult. Why? Didn't you park them somewhere? Yep. And then they ran away. What? No! If it's any consolation, it's only five leagues to Bethlehem. Ooh, race ya!
hours later. Wow, you guys are so fast. All right, everybody uh, keep your eyes peeled for a baby king. There's no palace here, not even a largish house. I know, isn't it charming? Can you imagine living in a place like this? The suburbs. There's an inn over there. Perhaps that's a good place to start. You think they have beds? Eye on the prize, Naveed. Oh! I wanted to knock. I've been practicing. Hello. Hi. Is your mother or father home? They're on a date, having some grown-up time. I look after things until my bedtime, which was an hour ago. Whoops. Oh, wait. Sorry. Hi there. Listen, we've traveled from a very long way away. Oh, welcome to the welcome in. Thank you. We're looking for some specific people who may have come through town. Oh, I know. Everybody who comes through town. How? What can I say? It's just part of the gig. Grown-ups like to travel somewhere different to do something new. Off they go with their heavy things. Then they show up here just like you. And just like you, they look tired. No, you do. You should see your face. But it's okay, we have beds inside. You have arrived at the perfect place. The welcome in has a room for you. Come inside, step right this way. Let us care for you. Here, let me carry that. Whoops, I hope that wasn't expensive. staying here. Yeah, we're just looking for a newborn king. His birth was announced by a star a couple of years ago. Oh yes, I was here and he was born. You were? Way back when I was just an amateur child. Kids, am I right? You're saying the king was born here? Well, not here exactly, but I can show you. Come with me. Grown-ups like to worry about guests who are stressed because I ruin things. So off I go to play in the barn with my friend the mouse. He can see. <laughs> but one night it was playing outside, staying out of the way. A man and his wife had a baby arriving. Needed some place to stay But my father said There's no room inside I'm so sorry, sir Then the lady cried The mouse and me Caught each other's eyes We both knew what we had to do The welcome man Has a room for you Come inside, step right this way Let us Dolly has warmed up this bed for you. Whoops. Just try not to step there. I'm delighted that you have decided to stay. Welcome in. So I close the door and I walk away, feeling proud to have guests in my special place. But the lady cries out, I think maybe the baby is old. And I feel like in the starry sky It's the brightest that I've ever seen Then the shepherd men, they come running in Out of breath and they fall to their knees They look frightened but excited They say an angel Don't believe me. All that happened 
back then I'm a silly child Let my thoughts run wild But I know now What can happen when You say welcome in Little friends Sleep on the hay What a pleasure to meet you So grateful to greet Shepherds, angels, and stars. Oh, my. He really must be the greatest of kings. Born in a smelly stable? No offense. What? Uh, so, <laughs> where is he now? Oh, Mrs. Mary and Mr. Joseph live just up the road. They're really nice. And the king's name, the baby? Jesus. Jesus. Well, let's go. We can catch Mary and Joseph before they go to bed. Oh, you don't, you don't need to hurry. They left town this morning, and I don't think they're going to be back for a while. Oh. They took all their stuff with them. They left town? <laughs> oh, where'd they go? Um, where was it? Think, think, think. Um, uh... oh, oh, Egypt. <laughs> Egypt? No town? Just Egypt? Yep. I should really go to bed now. Wh Egypt! Egypt! The library will now be closing in anticipation of this evening's event. <laughs> what event? Forgive us for our boasting. That is not our intention, but, but this year we are hosting the Worldwide Magi Convention! Magi Con! Magi Con! Siri, you 
watching the beat. Nerds and fans, wannabe sages and mages, it's time to get your geek on! And now, everyone raise a staff to the nuts, feature celebrity mage, all the way from West Susa, Persia, it's number one! Oh yeah! How we feeling, Mage Icon? Better now that I'm here, right? Look at all you geeks in your homemade costumes, so cute! Number 13, keep an eye on that one. She looks like a rush the stager. All right, you all ready for me to work my magic? Let's go! When I walk in the room and the joint goes kaboom, what a feeling. You feel that? The rush of the fame when they're calling my name sends me reeling. So appealing, looking sharper than a knife. Just living that red carpet life. When I'm rolling in in style, how can you help but smile? Cause it's fun. I know, I totally get it. I mean, how could you not? In fact, here's a little ode to myself. I'm the alpha dog, the big tomcat. I'm what's going on. I'm where it's at. For all you band nerds out there, I'm first chair. No second fiddle for me. I played enough of that. The pain that I feel when I bow where I kneel, I abhor it. That means I hate it, but the joy and the glee when they're bowing to me, I adore it. Aren't they adorable? If you want to stay on top, you got to fight for the spotlight. Never stop. From the bottom, I scratched and I clawed. Now I'm practically a god. Look, I know that's offensive, but I'm a villain. Here's what I do, baby. Cause it's fun Power hungry? Perhaps. Am I addicted to the sound of my name, the acclaim? You betcha. But I mean, how else can I fill my soul that gaping hole than with fame? Because eventually I bore with the same old chores, the same old things, the autographs, the evil laughs, the kings to advise and making every single thing sound wise. I don't apologize for being me. I'm precisely who I was raised to be, you see. My father, my father would be so proud of me. And yet, if I'm honest, and let's be honest, I rarely am. It's a little exhausting maintaining the illusion, you see. It's all a bit of a sham, it's a scam. Appearances can and do deceive but as long as you believe that I am who I say I am, then this, this shall evermore be my gem. That is fun, fun, fun. to be number one, feeling fine. Fun, fun. When I get what's mine, everything, shouting he's the man. man, yeah, it's fun. Fun, fun. To be number one. coming, did you? That's right, you never know when I might. But that's all I got, I'm all out. By the way, mage is the root of magician, and you should never trust a magician, because no matter what they say, they've always got something else up their sleeve. Yeah, it's fun.
easy, easy. Six feet. Six feet. Major. So hard to find good help these days. We've got to be careful without our beards. Where's Siri and Naveed? I don't know, but we did just set her loose in the world's largest library. There she is. Siri, wait, is Naveed not with you? Is this a trick question? Well, we've got to find him before he runs into number two. You will never guess who I ran into. We've got to hurry and get out of here before he finds us. Wait, I found Mary and Joseph in the census. They were in the scroll? I found their names in a census from seven years ago, but when I looked at the next year, they weren't there. However, I did find someone who might know where they went, their old neighbor, a Jewish man from Cyrene named Wakasham. Great job, Siri. Well, where does Wakasham live? Here? In the library? How does someone live in a library? Let's ask the librarian. Hey! Do you know where Wakasham lives? Who's asking? We are. <laughs> Wakasham speaks to no one. <laughs> you don't understand. We've been searching for 12 years. I'm and sorry, but Wakasham speaks to no one. <laughs> Please? <laughs> this is very important to us. Wait a second. What's that? This? Mm -hmm. A lockbox protecting incalculable valuables. Puzzles are so fun. Well, I might be willing to part with some information of value to you for something of value to me. This is not for sale. <laughs> okay, suit yourself. Okay, you can have it. What? No. Siri, <laughs> I think this might be one of those moments that Papa talked about where you need to tune in to your heart. This box undoubtedly holds significant value to me, but it does not hold my memories of Papa. I find the value of information she holds to be worth more to me than the material item itself. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Uh, what well, costume's right there? <laughs> this guy? Yeah. Are you a costum? Honorable costum, for the last 12 years, we've been searching for the child King Jesus so we can offer our services to him. We implore you, if you have any information regarding their present location, please share that with us. Why aren't you talking? Why isn't he talking? I told you, Wakasham speaks to no one. <laughs> he can't talk. That's why I let him live in the library. He sets a good example for the others. Give her the box back. <gasps> Shh, no refunds. Puzzles are so fun. <laughs> Wakasham, do you really know Jesus and his parents? Do you know where we can find them? I, I think that's a yes. Where? Jerusalem. Jerusalem? No. Farzans. Wow. Haven't seen you in forever. What's it been, like three or four years? Twelve. Oh. Well, time flies when you're number one, right? <laughs> Not that you would know that. Hold up, didn't I banish you from all Magi League events? Wait, I get it. You're trying to steal some of my thunder again, aren't you? Well, some people never learn. Number three, we have some trespassers over here. Take them outside, remind them of their place. We just need one more minute and we will gladly leave and stay away from you forever. 
Why do you need another minute? <gasps> because he is about to tell us where to find the prophesied king of kings. Oh, <laughs> a prophesied king of kings. Oh. Well, as a number one, he would want me, the prime rib, as his advisor, not some moldy leftovers. So, where is he? You want to play it that way, eh? Number 13, take this guy outside too. Loosen his tongue a bit. You're Wes Sousa Wiseman. Why are you doing his dirty work? We know, we're so ashamed. Number three, get me the location of that king stat. You think you can do that? Idiot thugs. What's that? Number one is giving away free hugs? Six feet! Six feet! You're right. We are better than this. Yeah! Go Farzans! Hey! You know what they look like! Wanna take a field trip with us to Jerusalem? Jerusalem! Okay, just a little limp. Anyways, that's how I found out I am not good at spear throwing. <laughs> you know, Makashim, can I call you Walkie? Walkie, you're a really good listener. I'm a really good talker. Thank you, that's so sweet. You miss talking? And singing, I had a feeling, because you can always see it in someone's eyes. Real singing comes from the heart. And you've got singer's eyes. Lots of heart. I can tell. So, how'd you lose your voice? If I may. When you were a boy. Oh, sorry, a baby. You were a baby king? You were a baby king? And your mother? That's your mother? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, the baby king's mother. The baby king's mother! Mary? Yes? Did somebody... <gasps> Wakashim! Joseph, come see, it's Wakashim! How is this possible? <laughs> Blessed be the Lord. <laughs> oh, and who is this? Oh, this is your friend. Very pretty friend. Oh, these are your friends. Oh, well, any friend of Wakasham is a friend of ours. Well, any friend of a friend of Wakasham <gasps> is a friend of ours. Oh, you're looking for Jesus. Yes, he loves meeting new friends. He should be around here somewhere. Um, Joseph, where did Jesus go? I don't know. I, I thought he was with you. With me? No. We agreed he'd walk in the caravan with you and the men. I have no idea what you're talking about. In Jerusalem, remember, I said he's 12 now. He's asking man-sized questions about prophets and things. Don't you think it would be great for him to spend some time chatting with the men? You don't remember this conversation? Well, yes, but I thought you meant generally, like after we got home or something. No, I was referring to this 
long journey we were about to start where there's nothing to do but walk and chat. Yeah, but we really don't chat much about the prophets while we're walking. Well, what have you been chatting about? I don't know. Uh, Abijah's new wood saw or how far we can throw a rock. <laughs> Whatever comes to mind. <laughs> you know. Honestly, honey, I don't know. So, <laughs> uh, where is he now? Uh, Jerusalem! Jerusalem! You are back here in the city where you left your little kitty. He's just the prophesied Messiah. Oh, that really is a pity. Joseph and from each other. What? Why? Because we have to be the ones to find him, to prove we're worthy to be his advisors. Meet back at the governor's mansion at sundown. Let's go. Anybody find Jesus? No. No? Nope. One word. No. <laughs> but I did see Mary and Joseph leaving town with a boy. <laughs> what? Well, I was going to say hi, but I didn't want to interrupt them. She did not look happy. Well, we've, we've got to catch them. But where could they have gone? Hey, hey Siri. Yes? <laughs> Any prophecies about where the new king should live now? His hometown? Well, it has been said he shall be called a Nazarene. So there is a probability they live up north in Nazareth. Nazareth? <laughs> Nothing good comes from Nazareth. Nathaniel, how many times have I told you not to talk to strangers? Okay, so if nothing good comes from Nazareth, a great king will definitely not be there. Uh, let's head south to Bethlehem first, see what we can find out, and then go from there. I love it when a plan comes together. We'll go anywhere but Nazareth. Go team! You are here again. Time to get up and go again. It'll make you go mad when things start looking the same. The same old town with a different name. Your life is so sad. On familiar ground, these boots are made for walking around from town to town. Year after year, if you're wondering if you're lost, have no fear. We're in. Nowhere. Eighteen years later. It's nearly twilight. Tabitha and Alexander should be back with Navid soon. Rufus, are you hungry? Your brother and sister should have some leftovers from the wedding they're working. Nah, I found a cricket, so I'm good. Great. He's eating bugs now. Hey, Mom, I did all my chores. I even got rid of this really cool scorpion nest in the tent. So can I play with my friends now? Honey, I really think you need some new friends. 
So can you play with me? <laughs> Go play with your friends. Yes. Hey, Yosef. Hey, Dov. What do you guys want to play today? Oh, great idea, Dov. Settlers of Babylon. Yeah, we need to find him some real friends. It's just so hard when we're never in the same town longer than a week. Walkie, can I confess something? I'm tired. When I was a little girl, I dreamed of living in a beautiful palace. Now, all I want is to live in one place. All of us, an actual place to call home, a place to raise our family. Am I crazy for wanting that? You want it too. You know, for someone who can't talk, you really know how to say the right things. How do we tell Dari? Tell me what? So, we've searched all of Israel twice, except Nazareth. I've been thinking maybe we can at least try Nazareth. There's really no downside into giving it a shot. Tell me what? There's technically only a 1.7% chance that he's in Nazareth, but now that we've looked everywhere but there, that probability increases substantially. Although, if he is in Nazareth and we don't go, there is a 100% chance we're going to keep missing him. <laughs> Tell me what, Essie? Walkie and I have been talking. We feel like it's time to settle down. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> You're just hangry. As soon as you get some food in you, you'll be thinking clearly in no time. Want a cricket? Sorry, what I'm trying to say. Anyway, no time to chit chat. Uh, let's get our stuff packed up uh, for Nazareth. Really? Yep, as soon as the sun comes up. Hey, Rufus, Dorina? can you help me? Stop. We have to stop this never-ending quest chasing the next hot tip. Is that what you think this is? Just a hot tip? No. According to Siri, there's a crazy high probability he could be in Nazareth right now. 72.5. See? Unless they move back to Egypt. Dari? No. We can't quit. We are Farzans and we don't quit. Not until we've finished what we've set out to do. I never set out to do this. This was your plan the whole time. Essie, after 30 years of being on the outside, we could finally be on the doorstep to the kind of life that Papa wanted for us. You're Wrong, Dari. The kind of life Papa wanted for us was not about living in a palace. Is that what you think this is about? Living in a palace? No. What Papa wanted was for the three of us to stay united. Because a three-stranded band is not easily broken. Well, then I guess I'm breaking up the band. Mom! Dad! Tabitha? On Dory! On Siri, we found him! You found who? Him! Jesus! It's true? Well, it was after dinner. I'm in the kitchen washing dishes. And I'm refreshing people's drinks. And I was in charge of the wine. And we ran out of wine. And there was this lady who had come back to find out what was going on with the wine. It was Mary. Right, but I didn't know that. Anyway, she just goes and says something to this man. It was Jesus. Right, but I didn't know that. And then the man is all like, woman, why does this concern me? And the lady turns and says, do whatever he tells you. And I'm just like, 
Okay. And this man walks to these huge pots and says, Fill these pots with water. So, we fill the pots to the brim. We? Fine. They finish filling the pots. And then the man is like, now, dip a cup into one of the pots and take it to the Master of Ceremonies. And I'm like, oh yay. So, I dip a cup and I bring it to the MC. And the MC takes the cup and drinks it. And it was wine. And it was amazing. Wow, that is not. <laughs> Essie, do you hear that? He's right there in Cana. Oh, well, he was, but he and his followers left town long before the wedding feast was over. Well, where did he go? Well, he's got to be nearby. Uh, let's split up. We'll set up a perimeter. I'm sorry, Dari. We made our decision. But the kids just saw him. He is so close. No, the kids said he's long gone. And I can't do this for another 30 years. Walkie, don't you want to see Jesus again? Yes, but if Jesus is the promised King of Kings, we will serve him wholeheartedly wherever God has placed us. Where will you live? Your Jerusalem, maybe the suburbs, Bethphage perhaps. We'll build a home there and if you aren't able to find Jesus, at least you'll know where to find us. What about you, Siri? Are you going to follow Essie or are you going to follow me? I'm going to follow Jesus. Great. Naveed? I'm going to follow her. <laughs> Naveed, may I have the jar of spike nard? Here, take this. You gave up your precious gift so that I could find mine. You keep it, you can sell it to buy a home. Siri, no, I couldn't possibly. What would you give to Jesus? I'm not sure, but if he can turn all that water into wine, I don't think he's going to need this. I don't know of any mage that could do that. Thank you. And thank you, Dari for everything. And Walkie says, may God bless your journey and cause our paths to cross again. I still think you're making a mistake, but it's your mistake to make. Siri, Naveed, let's go and before we miss any more miracles. Time to get back into the hunt. Pack it up and move on. Pick up all the pieces of your dream and journey on. Cause you gotta catch the miracle. You just missed him. He healed the royal official's son. Blessed be the Lord. Before it's gone. Yeah, he just healed my mother-in-law. Peter, stop being so chatty and come help my daughter. Oh, blessed be the Lord. Trying to keep our courage up, fighting to keep the faith. We keep our eye on the prize. Yes, he healed a paralyzed man they lowered through my roof and left me this great new house feature. I think I'll call it a skylight. We keep on taking aim, but we always miss the miracle. This time he caused thousands of fish to jump into our nets. I'm so stuffed. I'm so hungry. It always is the same. And then he said he'd teach me to fish for men. Nope, this just got weird. He cast demons out of my crazy neighbor into my pigs. I wish my pigs hadn't died, but at least my neighbor's wearing clothes now. Running a race around the world in 11,000 days. Reach 
reaching for the finish line in vain. You just missed it. Soon as you think it's over, that's the moment you discover you've been running in someone else's lane. Blessed be the Lord. So for many years, I had this issue of what? And then he made mud with spit and healed my eyes. And we had 12 baskets of leftovers. <laughs> I'm chasing someone else's miracle. If you can just touch the hem of his robe. Someone else's praise. If you just get a spit in your eyes. Someone else's testimony. Leftovers. Maybe it's someone else's faith. Hey, Siri. Yeah? Where are we? Beth Page, three years later. Excuse me, we heard a rumor about a donkey being taken from here by Jesus. Do you know anything about it? Um, excuse me, these folks are asking about the donkey, Essie. Essie? Siri? <gasps> Sorry! <laughs> And me! Hi, Nafid! I've been so worried about you guys! Yeah, I've been worried about us too. I thought surely by now you'd caught up with Jesus, but when he came through, you weren't with him! And so then I thought something terrible happened to you! You saw Jesus? A few days ago, a couple of his followers came and asked to borrow our donkey and her colt. They just said the Lord needs him, and we said okay! <laughs> it was your donkey. <laughs> It was. Our whole family followed them out to Jerusalem. A huge crowd of people were waving palm branches, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I can't describe what it felt like being there in the middle of it all. You should have seen it, Dari. You're right. I should have seen it. I mean, we've been chasing him for the last three years. The last 33 years. <laughs> you look good, happy. I am. We sold a jar of spike nard to a woman, got a whole year's worth of wages for it. More than enough to buy a home here in Bethphage. The kids pitch in working the land and we sell produce out here in town. Rufus even made a few human friends. Oh. Life is good. Blessed be the Lord. Yes, blessed be the Lord. I really am happy to see you and that you have a home and that you're so happy. Thank you. Walkie and the kids will be so excited to see you. They should be back soon. Show her. I've had a change as well. You're married? Betrothed until we can settle down. What a lovely ring is that? Grass. I braided it myself. Well, listen, our place is big enough for the family. The whole family, if y'all are ready to come off the road. You have beds? Yes. Ooh. I'm gonna go check that out. Essie! Who's that? I don't know, I don't recognize the voice. Essie! Mom! Mom! Walkie! Can you believe this? It is such a pleasure to see you, Dari, and, and Siri, and uh, where's Navi? Taking a nap. I don't oh. understand. You're talking. Oh, can I tell her? Uh, I saw it happen. I'm the oldest, so I get to tell her. No, I will tell her. <laughs> Once upon a time in a land far away. Yeah, it was definitely today. Let me tell it, please. <sighs> we were hanging about town, just finding our own vegetable business. I was merchandising. I was working a deal. When suddenly out of the crowd, Jesus came. He looked in my eyes and called my name. He said, Simon, do you want to be here? Who's Simon?
Simon? Oh, that's me. My name is Simon. It is surprisingly difficult to act out, so I just went with Wakasha. And he said, Simon, do you want to be healed? Then I said, and he said, in your soul, take up your voice and go. Then I said, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Blessed be the Lord. And now I'm truly elated to say that I can finally fully articulate all I wanted to say but couldn't quite say before. <laughs> Woo! Words like aggrandize, multifarious, convivial, chemical, vociferous. Phrases like good night, hello there, I apologize, what a lovely hat. And no, young lady, you're not going out wearing that. <sighs> but more than anything, my favorite phrase of this freshly picked word bouquet is I love you. I love you And that is all I wanted To say Your name is Simon? <laughs> Dad, this is perfect timing. So now that you can talk, there's this girl I like, and I'm not too sure if she likes me, and I don't know what to do with all these feelings I'm having, so I was wondering oh, if you could... ask your mother. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Hold on a second. Are you saying that you've all seen Jesus? And none of you even asked him if you could be his advisors? Dari, he does not need advisors. He is the greatest teacher I have ever heard. But people say he keeps talking about a kingdom. All kings need advisors. Well, Jesus is not that kind of king. See, Jesus, he is, Jesus is something more, something greater. Siri. You know the ancient archives better than any of us. Have you read anything to back up what Waki is saying? After all I've studied, I know he's not what I thought. Now I believe he is God's promise to us, his gift to the world. Like Waki, I mean, Simon says, <laughs> he doesn't need our advice or anyone's for that matter but we are the daughters of Artaban Farzan, the wisest wise men of our age. Yes, Papa was wise, but even he didn't have the wisdom and power that Jesus does. So are you just gonna keep chasing after Jesus even though he has no actual kingdom? Where else can we go? Who else has the words of life? Speaking of that, Dari, there's something we need to tell you about someone who will be excited to see you. Is that him? Jesus? Uh, uh, hey, Farzans! You. I'm sorry, Dari. I know this is a shock. It was a shock to us too. You knew about this? Darina? What a blessing to see you now. Excuse me? Hey, Rufus! What's up, big man? Huh? Huh? Yeah. What is, he, what is going on? There's no Magi event we're crashing. Just leave us alone. You know, that's fair. I deserve that. Dari, at least hear him out. Walkie! <laughs> Bestie from the Westie! You're talking! <laughs> well, Jesus healed me. Of course. Welcome to the Miracle Club, my man. Bring it in. <laughs> what is going on? Yes. Uh, well, it's, it's a long story.
if you dare start singing right now. That's fair, my bad. Well, it all started back in Egypt, and I overheard you guys saying that you were going to Jerusalem to find the king of kings. So instead of heading straight home to Persia, I grabbed a few magi, and I followed you to Jerusalem. You followed us? Yep. Even worse, actually, I sabotaged you. <laughs> what? I had been spying from a distance, and when you guys split up from Jesus' parents in Jerusalem, I stayed on them, which seemed like the logical thing to do. But then I heard that they were going to Nazareth, so I went on and on to a boy who was standing there about how nothing good can come from Nazareth. Tell all your friends. Honestly, I did not think that part was going to work. You sabotaged us. I know. Wow, that was really terrible of me. Darina, friends, I apologize. Yeah, but tell her what happened next. So, as Mary and Joseph were leaving Jerusalem, I hurried after them with one last look around to make sure you guys weren't following. But then I tripped, fell down some stairs, boom, paralyzed. The Magi who were with me left to get some help. I never saw them again. <laughs> to be honest, I was pretty terrible to them too. Wow. I hope I get a chance to apologize to them someday. Magi! I was terrible to you. That's my bad. So then he's all alone and he can't really move and he's all like, okay, what do I do? So we had to beg people for help for like 20 years. I now have a much greater appreciation for those in the service industry. <laughs> I used to be a terrible tipper. And then uh, some people came along and felt sorry for him. Yeah, I mean, I was crying a lot, <laughs> loudly. <laughs> and they told him about this man who could do signs and wonders. And he was all like, no, I know about signs and wonders. It's all a sham. And they were all like, no, it's legit. So they picked him up and hauled him out of bed all the way to Capernaum where this man was teaching at a house. It was Jesus. Right, but he didn't know that. And there were a lot of people in the way and the door was too small for his bed and they were like, well, we can't tear a hole in the wall. Let's tear a hole in the roof. And he was like, okay. So right there, they lowered him down with ropes through the hole in the roof. And Jesus took one look at him and said, Get up, take up your mat, and go home. Well, I didn't have a home. <laughs> but then I ran into Waki and Essie the Empathetic. And they invited me to come live with them here. Isn't that great? I don't believe this. Have you even verified that his whole story is true? He could be conning you. I believe him. You know, I wouldn't believe me either, Darina. But we skipped over the most important part of my story. Before Jesus healed me, he looked me in the eyes and he said, friend, your sins are forgiven. Friend, no one ever called me friend before. <laughs> and I didn't realize until that moment that what I really needed more than power or wealth, a title, even more than having the ability to walk and move was to be forgiven. Isn't that unbelievable, Dari? Unbelievable. So, now I spend my days walking around telling everyone my story, and whenever I don't know what to do next, I just ask myself, what would Jesus do? <laughs> I even made myself a bracelet to always remind me. <laughs> See, WWJD. Number two, oh, sorry, number one. Oh, that's okay. I, after meeting Jesus, I have embraced my true role. I prefer number two. Because he is first, I am second. Wait, if you've been here, who's leading the West Sousa Wiseman? 
You know, I couldn't tell you. To be honest, the mage I never warmed to my style of leadership. They always thought I stole it from you guys. <laughs> Wait a minute, I did steal it from you guys. I am so sorry. That is my bad. <laughs> I bet if you Farzans went back, they'd probably just give you the number one position as the rightful heirs of Artaban. Naveed, can I have my diamond, please? <laughs> Naveed! It is so good to see you, my friend! <laughs> Wait, you talk? <laughs> Walkie, talkie? <laughs> I must still be dreaming. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Siri, Essie, we can finally go home. Fulfill Papa's will for us to lead the Magi. This is home now, Dari. But we can't go without you. Right, Siri? Dari, I found the king I want to serve now. Yes, you have. He doesn't have a kingdom, but he sure is handing out miracles left and right. You get a miracle and you get a miracle. And even you get a miracle. Obviously, I'm not good enough to make the list. So I'm gonna take this and go. Find a leader to follow, a leader who'll appreciate this, appreciate me. Whenever you're done with whatever this is, you can come find me. Blessed be the Lord. Here I go with my one-man show, the circus is back in town. I'm the ringmaster, the bearded lady, and clearly I'm the clown. Still waiting for a miracle while my world falls down. A wise woman sent on a fool's errand. It has become evident that the joke is on me. For there is nothing louder than the laughter of a higher power in this divine When will I be the next in line? When will they call for me? I've taken a number and waited patiently, but I'm number infinity. On the outside for eternity, have I not proven that I'm worthy? Am I not worthy? Or could they? He may be crucified. He's being held in the home of the high priest.
Damien, he's innocent. That is none of my concern. You've had your time with the High Priest. Now go. Sir, is this where they're holding Jesus? I have something of great value. I can buy his freedom. Buy his freedom? I just sold him for 30 pieces of silver. I just sold him for 30 pieces of silver. What have I done? Okay. You, sir, aren't you one of the followers of Jesus? Me? No. I don't know what you're talking about. No, you were with him. I know you were. You're one of his followers. I swear to you, I don't know the man. Oh, no. What have I done? What is with these people? <laughs> Mr. Guard, please, sir. I must speak with the high priest at once. I have something of great value. What is it? This diamond, sir. I'm offering it to the high priest in exchange for the prisoner's freedom. The prisoner's not for sale, but the high priest thanks you for your offering. No, that diamond is all I have left in the world. Please, I must speak with the high priest at once. Only men can have an audience with the high priest. Sorry, lady. Hey, kid. Uh, hey, Dari. Uh, welcome back. You playing with your rock friends again? I thought you had real friends now. I, I don't know what's real anymore. Me neither, kid. Rufus, you need to come inside. It's not safe. Dari. Walkie, Siri, everyone. Dari's here. Where have you been? Lost, I guess. They crucified him. I know. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry to all of you. for everything. Dad, tell her what happened. I don't want to talk about it. They made Dad carry his cross because he was too injured and weak. It was so awful, Dari. It's unspeakable. I don't understand. Why he chose to heal me and not himself. It doesn't make sense. None of it makes sense. I mean, what kind of king? In every story I heard, he showed such power, wisdom, such kindness. I wanted it to be true. But every time we dare to hope for something, we take a step in faith. The ground is just pulled out from under us. I don't know what in heaven is going on, but God is faithful. So we wait. Mom? 
Mom, look. It's Mary. The feed. No, thank you. Wait, I recognize you all from those many years ago when my son was lost. What well, gosh, is that you? It is. And you have found your voice. Well, Jesus found it for me. Of course he did. Mother Mary, this is the woman I was telling you about who tried to purchase Jesus' freedom with a diamond. Oh. Mary, I failed you. I'm so sorry I was unable to free your son. You didn't fail me, dear. I think Jesus knew exactly what he was doing. And in time, all will be made clear. But thank you for trying. The truth is, we've been trying for the past 33 years. <laughs> Searching for your son after seeing a star announcing his birth. We each had precious gifts to offer him as tokens of our allegiance. If only I had my diamond with me now, I could offer it to you, ease your burdens a little. I appreciate the offer, my dear. However, the Lord has provided all I could ever need. Blessed be his name. How can you say that, Dari? Sorry, but after everything you've suffered, everything you've lost, how can you say he's provided for you? How can you still bless his name? You're right, I have suffered much, but I have seen so much more. I've seen an angel standing before me. I've seen stars align and wondrous signs that bring shepherds and kings. I've heard prophets speak of all he do and of how my own soul would be pierced too. It has all come true. Every moment, just another part of the treasure I have hidden in my heart. There are miracles only I have seen. The first time he opened his eyes, and looked up at me. The sound of his cry, cause even a miracle child gets hungry. And he wanted me. Every memory, another part of the treasure I have hidden in my heart. I've seen him laughing loud and climbing trees, coming home with scraped up knees, telling me my hugs can heal anything. And I what they do and he said where your treasure is your heart will be my heart is in that tomb I choose faith, though I don't understand. 
I choose a hope Though I still hurt I choose to love And though all seems lost Love remains the treasure More than worth the cost And after all I've seen Him say and do I know my son would say it too My dear, the gift he'd want most Is still yours to give The treasure in his heart is he you? Mother Mary, are, are you ready? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you know, the last time we crossed paths, I had lost Jesus. Thanks to you, Joseph and I eventually found him three days later in the temple. His father's house, he said. It seems I have lost him again. But in the darkness of night, I have learned to watch the horizon. Look for the sun to rise. That's deep. God be with you. You know, starting to think that maybe he is. Blessed be his name. among you. Yeah, that's on me. They're actually awesome. That was my bad. But that wasn't the end of the story. For the creator of the universe, the architect of the heavens, the one true king, had provided a miracle for us. A prophecy fulfilling celestial anomaly. A star. Pointing the way to a newborn king in the west. So we followed the star and found the king. And though his earthly life was marked with signs of great power and authority, he was not the king we expected to find. He was a king of great humility and compassion and wisdom and healing and forgiveness of sins and leftovers. <laughs> yes, leftovers. And for those of us who felt like leftovers, he's made a way for us to become children of God. Though he was killed, he rose from the dead. And right before our eyes, he rose into the heavens, saying he was going to prepare a place for us. A kingdom not of this world, but of heaven. But he didn't leave us alone. He left his spirit who lives inside of us, giving us the power and words to speak to you now. We tried to earn his favor by offering our precious gifts to him. 
Yet it was He, Jesus, who offered us the most precious gift imaginable, a new life. And you too can have this precious gift, not by offering gold or silver, but offering something of even greater value to Him, you. Your strength. message today, then simply open up these treasures to Him, yourselves, and welcome Him in. Come on, can we give it up for the cast and crew? Will you stand on your feet? And will you give it up for everybody, those on stage, behind the stage, who put this show together? You know, we want to end this show today not just celebrating a great performance, but really responding to it, because this message was so clear. There's a lot of ways that you can share the gospel of Jesus. You can share it with your words, you can share it with your actions, and clearly you can share it through the performing arts. And we want to respond to whatever God may be speaking to you. And so I'm going to invite our prayer team to the front, and we just want to ask you the same question we ask every single weekend, which is, what is God saying to you? We can all find ourselves in the story. Maybe you, like the sisters, are on a journey and you're trying to find purpose, meaning, a place to belong, but you've hit a few bumps along the way, maybe you didn't find what you were looking for. Maybe you're like one of the people who needed a miracle. Maybe it's a, a physical healing, maybe it's an emotional one. Maybe you're here and you've never really given your life to Jesus. Maybe you've heard about him, you've heard of others following him or how he's done things for other people, but you've never had a true encounter with God. Maybe the God that was preached to you was a God of, of anger. Maybe he was a God of bitterness. Maybe he was a God that was rejecting you. But we come to tell you that we serve a God who loves you, a Jesus who wants to do a miracle in your life and wants to bring you back home. And so I'm just going to pray. In a moment, we're going to pray. When I say amen, if you need to leave, you're, you're dismissed. It was a great show, but when I say amen, if you need prayer for anything, we want you to come forward and receive prayer. Whether it's a small thing going on in your life or whether you need to give your life to Jesus. So let's pray. God, I thank you that you are a good God. You're a great father who loves us. And you desire for every one of your children to come into your home. And so God, I pray that you would do a miracle in anyone's life who needs a miracle right now, a healing, emotionally or physically, a healing of our heart, a healing of our body. And so right now when I pray, when I say amen, I pray you draw every person that needs prayer. In Jesus' name, and everybody said amen, amen. Can we give it up one more time? If you need prayer for anything, I wanna invite you to come down as we leave. We have our candlelight services coming next weekend. If you need prayer for anything, step forward. If not, we love you, you are dismissed, and we hope you have a great Christmas.